see what we can get out of Nikki team. Nikki, I haven't said a word to you yet. You've been kind of silent, but back to what happened. What's your perspective of it? I'm just happy to see you. This is fucking 360 <laughs> of a rouge. What can I say? Um, yeah, we're in a dying hours, so uh, of course I'm not going to lift. Um, go hard, I go home. So this is. We didn't really have the overall pace, so a pure strategy from from the brilliant guys behind the scenes just brought us up there. And. Um, Mercedes and MDW had a better pace, but again, we are in the in the final rounds of this um, this, this fight. So uh, of course, I'm gonna I'm keep it flat there. Well, I know you haven't seen the replay yet, but on that monitor, there it is for you. I was there. <laughs> I was there. Saying he was there does not need to see it. <laughs> Well, apologies for Nicky's colourful language, but you can understand after that moment exactly what was going through his mind. And yeah, I don't need to see it. I was there. <laughs> That's the ultimate way of walking away from the interview, isn't it? Look at that. He was lucky. I mean, there was a car coming through, but thankfully contact avoided. But had he had another train behind him, it could have been a completely uh, different uh, absolutely. story. Absolutely. And this is what we, we saw this a similar situation last year. We've seen it over many years that a car spins on the exit of a rouge and it spins across and then goes back across the racetrack or stops in the middle of the racetrack and that's always been the issue at the bottom of a rouge you cannot see what's at the top of radio until you arrive yeah. there and you're arriving at around 150 miles an hour there's very little chance to be able to make any kind of uh